Hey guys, it is, uh, I think it's four degrees out right now. It was two degrees Fahrenheit when I got up. And uh, it's pretty cold today. Gonna let the animals, uh, just keep them in the barn today. Not gonna let them outside. The barn stays quite a bit warmer, so we'll head over there, see how warm it is. But before I went out there, I wanted to see whether the pond was finally safe enough to be able to walk on. So our pond is spring fed and um, that really keeps it from freezing real well or thick enough. You really want four inches of ice to be able to walk on it. And the other day when I came out here, it was still cracking when I got on here. So I thought I'd get out here and just see how it feels just close to the edge. Um, maybe later I'd get a chainsaw or something out here and see how deep it actually is. But uh, it's only froze one time in the last five years, six years or so that we've owned it, um, that it was strong enough for us to be able to get out there and work on it. We actually fell, the, this side of the pond dam was full of trees when we bought the property and there were some that were probably eight inches or so in diameter. And we dropped the trees right on the pond. We cut them up on the pond, on the ice, and it was safe enough to do all that tree work. And, uh, but it's never got that froze enough since then to be safe to be able to even get out there and fish. So we've still never ice fished this pond. Curious whether it's, if it's frozen enough now we can finally ice fish. Well, it feels fairly solid, but the only way to know is to cut through the ice and see whether it, um, how thick it truly is. So the other day when it froze over completely, we got snow like the next day, and there was places on the pond that the snow was thawing out, and there were certain circles where the, the, the snow was actually melting on top of the ice. It was, it was like there was a warm spot, and I think since this is spring-fed that, uh, that maybe that's where the water comes from underneath the ground. So there's certain spots, you might not be able to tell it from here, but if I got a drone in the air, you'd be able to see like certain spots that are round and different colors from where it, you know, heated up and thawed a little bit. So uh, makes me leery to be on the pond because I just don't know where, I think it varies from place to place on how thick the ice actually is. It may seem like it's, it's thick in one spot, but you may go to another spot, it may be pretty thin. So I'm going to go down to the overflow of the pond and see if it's running. Normally in the winter time, since this is spring fed, you can still, still see that the water is flowing. Even though everything around here has been frozen for about two weeks, um, not really kind of the telltale sign that it's a spring fed pond. Yep. It's flowing. Can't see it from out here, but it's flowing. It doesn't flow in too much, probably about like two garden hoses worth of water. Got deer foot tracks here in the inside the fence in the snow. They're pretty wide deer prints. Definitely know they're not our goats. So of course this fence is probably nothing to a deer. They can hop right over it, no problem. Hello everyone. All right, chickens. Give me a second. All right. So in the barn, we're about 25 degrees, which is, I mean, that's like 21 degrees warmer than outside. So it definitely stays warmer here in the barn. And we'll just keep the animals locked up in here. So it is cold enough to freeze the water here in the barn, but we've got heated water buckets for the goats and for the chickens. So the cat's water, it does freeze, but they can eat, they can drink from the goats and the chickens. And so the duck's water, it freezes. So that's really the only one I really need to worry about changing out is see if I can get, uh, change out their water. But the ducks actually keep it moving fairly well. So um, a lot of times it doesn't freeze up very much because they're always jumping in and out of it.
Man, you can tell it is warmer when you come in here. 20 degrees makes a big difference. I'm gonna go ahead and try to get a few eggs so that they don't freeze today. Go ahead and check on the boys, the billy goats. Make sure that their water looks good. Make sure they don't need anything. Make sure they're staying warm out here in this cold weather. So yesterday I was out here splitting up these big rounds of wood and I slipped and I busted my chin right on one of those big rounds of wood trying to move it around. I slipped in the snow and uh, the chin didn't bother me so much, but my jaw, man, my jaw was a little bit sore yesterday and my shoulders I think I got a little bit of whiplash or something from that but uh, overall this morning once I woke up I think everything's fine I feel pretty good hey guys oh Dexter Chewy have you been rubbing on something red there's something red on your horns yeah there's something red on your horns you cannot this is why you're called Chewy you always try to bite everything. I can see steam coming off their water bucket, but uh, you can see the frost frosting up. We need that. Oh, it's nice and warm. So I mentioned before that the girls hardly ate their mineral block. The boy goats are totally different. The billy goats are totally different. If we give them loose mineral or blocks, either one, those goats just eat it up. And we just had to put a new one out here the other day because that other one was completely gone. Now the girls, we got a mineral block out and then I ended up putting loose mineral out as well. And they have both of those things, but they just hardly, they don't really touch it. Uh, so I don't know what the difference is between the girls and the boys. But the boys definitely, they go for the mineral and they eat it pretty hard. Well, it's the afternoon now, and I thought I'd just go ahead, I'll get all this wood uh, loaded up here and put on the trailer and then hauled down to the wood pile. And this bigger stuff over here, I can split that up later. And at least the goat pen, the billy goat pen will be all cleaned up and I won't have to worry about it anymore. So at lunchtime, Rebecca told me that I do have a pretty decent bruise on my chin. So I think the stubble's covering it up a little bit, making it a little harder to see, but, uh, the good thing is we're all wearing masks, right? So if I gotta go to work, I'll be wearing a mask. If I'm out in public, I'll be wearing a mask. I don't think anybody's gonna see it. And if for some reason somebody does see it and they ask, I'll just say, well, Rebecca wanted to get a donkey and I told her she couldn't. All right, that's the first load. That's all the smaller stuff we split up. I'll go ahead and unload that and we'll come back for the bigger stuff. So hopefully I can get all these big rounds loaded on the trailer with the fence laid down before the goats get curious and try to leave their pen. Hopefully I can do this real quick.
I gotta admit that's a it's a pretty good workout. It does make me feel like I'm out of shape. Whew. Well, I was able to do it before the goats came out here again. They were too busy eating hay. So pull out of here, get the fence set back up. Should be good to go. Well, I am glad to finally have all this stacked over here. So all this you see outside the woodshed on this side, this big pile, that's all from that maple tree. Of course I did take the smaller pieces and I threw that back in underneath the shed. So there's a lot of stuff here from that one tree. And honestly, there's still another small pile that I stacked outside of the billy goat pen right by our driveway the first day that I cut on the tree. And a lot of it, probably half of it, had a lot of hollow pieces of wood in it and it's probably pretty just going to be good for campfires and I still haven't picked that up and moved it over here so uh, I'm not too worried about that because it's by it's not inside of the billy goat pen so I think I'm pretty happy where I'm sitting right now with this tree and I'll tell you that is a workout right there moving those around whoo man so today is Sunday and I'm gonna go ahead and load up the some firewood. I'm gonna haul that back to the house because I don't wanna run out of firewood during the week. If I do, I'll be out here in the dark when I get home from work loading up firewood with a flashlight. So I definitely wanna to top off what we have over at the house. And uh, during this cold weather, normally, you know, we burn a fire once a day, but during this cold weather, we are burning firewood nonstop. So we're really going through the firewood right now. So I'm just gonna load some up real quick and haul it over to the house. Oh. Woo. My arms are getting tired. All right, I got the wood rack loaded up so it should be good to go for the week. I know a lot of people have, <laughs> they don't like where I have the wood rack placed. Um, they think, you know, it blocks the window or maybe I'll break a window. We personally don't mind it whatsoever. In fact, I mean, the real window pane doesn't start till right here and we barely get it much higher than what it is right now. And uh, there's only wood there during the winter time, you know, so it doesn't really block the view too bad at all. It's hardly noticeable from inside. And really the view out the front window is, a, is our cornfield in the front. So not a real great view out the front. The good views are off to the side and behind where the pond and everything is. So um, yeah, we don't really mind the wood rack being there and uh, I think we're fine with it. Well guys, I think, that's, uh, I think that's gonna wrap it up for today's video. The only thing I got left to do is when the sun gets a little bit lower, we'll finally go out to the barn and check on the animals one more time and then we'll turn out the lights and lock them up for the night. So. Today's it. This is Sunday night. It's the end of our weekend, and tomorrow I got to go back to work. So uh, that's what this is what we do on the weekends. We we do this. So I work Monday through Thursday, and then the videos you guys watch are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. That's when I have a chance to finally get out here and to do some work and try can you know continue to try to do projects and develop the place exactly how we want to. And that's what we, you know that's just what's important to us. So that's what we're putting our time into is you know continually improving our property so uh yeah that's how we spend our weekends but uh yeah so tomorrow i gotta go back to work and uh maybe that's gonna give me a chance to recover <laughs> recover from the weekend from all the uh firewood and and uh, wood splitting and stuff that we did so i i do have to admit i am a little bit sore so uh yeah i think that's it for today's video i didn't get out to the ice tonight and try to cut a hole through it to see how thick the ice is. Um, it is going to be cold all week, like single digit temperatures all week um, for the highs or for the lows, somewhere in there. And um, yeah, it's just going to freeze thicker. So the pond, if anything, the pond, the ice is just going to get thicker. So maybe, maybe next weekend I'll finally cut through it, see how deep it actually is. And uh, you never know, maybe if it's finally enough where we can 
walk on it. Maybe one of these days we'll finally ice fish on that pond. Maybe see if we catch something, but we'll just have to wait and see. Now the other cool thing to do would be if we could get some ice skates and go out there and ice skate on the pond. Now, I think that'd be pretty cool. I've only went ice skating once in my life, but that would be pretty neat if we could go out there and play around and do some ice skating. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. That's something that that's like really abnormal for around here. I mean, you don't see people ice skating on ponds around here. I think if you're up in Canada, you know, Wisconsin, Minnesota, some of those northern states, um, that's probably a fairly common thing for people to do. But around here, it's definitely not. But anyway, yeah, I think that's it for today's video, guys. I think this that's pretty much everything I'm going to do today. I'm pretty much going to call it a day and relax the rest of the day. So I, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you guys are staying warm, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.